What is six degrees of freedom? To explain that, I've created a three-axis system, which is what it's all based on. The first thing you can do is you can move in three directions. So you have the x-axis, which means you can move side to side. You have the y-axis, which means you can move up or down. And you have the z-axis, which in this case means you can move into the screen or you can move away from the screen. You also have three different types of rotation. So if I hold this here, I can rotate about the x-axis. I can also rotate about the y-axis, or I can rotate about the z-axis, so like I'm driving a steering wheel. The other thing that you have to know is that in a coordinate system, there is a zero reference. So what that zero reference is, is it's right here. Zero is at right at the center. So I, I, if I'm here at the center, if I use a hub for an example, that hub body shell would be right here in the middle. So I'm not, I haven't gone left or right any, I haven't gone up or down any, I haven't gone this direction any. So I'm at zero, zero, zero. I also haven't rotated any. So if I rotated some, that's uh, just got considered a degree of rotation. I haven't done any of that. So the six degrees of freedom, what it really means is, is if I haven't fixed this hub body in any way, I'm free to move anywhere I want. I can rotate, I can spin, I can do anything I want. If I take a degree of freedom away, if I don't let myself move left or right, basically I can still move up and down, forward and backwards, and I can rotate, but that other degree is fixed. I can't go left or right. So I have five degrees of freedom left, and one degree is fixed. I can fix all six degrees, and basically this thing is stuck in space in one position once that is, once that is stuck. That's a basic description of six degrees of freedom. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.